So now we're looking at part B of the auto cycle example. And the difference here is we want to include the variation in uh, specific heats uh, in our analysis. So all the equations and everything we did in the last uh, problem still apply. So we're looking for the efficiency. And we said it was the net work over the heat input. And the net work is heat in minus heat out over heat in. Um, we solved equations for Q in. We said it was U3 uh, minus U2. And we said Q out was U4 minus U1. Temperature 1 was 15 degrees C. Temperature 3 was 1000 degrees C. Um, and then we found what temperatures 2 and 4 were assuming constant specific heats uh, an isentropic process from 2 to 3 and 3 to 4. Uh, now we want to include the change in specific heat, or the, the variation in specific heat. And so in order to get to T2, we're going to process a 1 to 2 in order to try to find T2. Uh, we can write this equation. Uh, sorry, not this. The thing we know is the pressure ratio, V1 over V2 is 7. And so if you look on variable specific heat, isentropic process, ideal gas, you find that V1 over V2 is Vr1 over Vr2. These Vrs are just a function of temperature, so if we could get Vr2, that would tell us T2. So we'll solve for Vr2. It's uh, Vr1 over 7. And so we can go look up Vr1. Since we know T1 is uh, 15 degrees, 288. So at 288, the value of Vr is oh, about 685. Something like that. No units on that, just a number. So we get 998 or so for VR2. So that means T2 is. Yes. So we'll go look up where that VR is. Looks like it's between 610 and 620 Kelvin. Uh, we'll call it 618. And what we're really interested in is what is the internal energy there. And so it's about 448. Temperature, if we were interested, what did I say, 618. Okay, now we can put this U2 uh, in order to get <coughs> QA. U3 didn't change. Let's see, 1273. Looks like... Uh, close to a thousand, maybe 998. I think that's what I used last time. So that's 550. Okay, slightly different QN than we had before. Do the same thing for process three to four. Uh, and 
So we know that V4 over V3 is VR4 over VR3. That's from the isentropic process, ideal gas, variable specific heat equations. And we also know that this is the compression ratio or uh, 1 over the compression ratio. Let's see. So here's 3, here's 4, yeah, V4 over V3. Uh, no, is the compression ratio. So this is 7. Um, and we're interested in VR4 because that's going to tell us T4. So it's 7 times VR3. So it's 7 times. Uh, and we need the value of VR at 1273 Kelvin. So it's pretty close to 12. We'll go with 12.0. And so the value of VR is what's that, 84. And so that means T4 and U4. Maybe six fifty, six fifty two, six fifty three, and U four seventy six. U1 didn't change, it's still internal energy at 288 Kelvin, and so we can get Q out. What did we use for that? Probably 204, something like that. Q out is 272. Again, slightly different than what we had earlier. So let's get the efficiency and we're done. Whoops. Well, you calculate the efficiency. I erased Q in. <laughs> Can't quite see it. <laughs> 